everybody, welcome. Today we're going to work on stretching out the back body, which may not be what you think. To stretch your muscles, you don't just want to start with straight legs in your yoga practice. It's taught that way a lot, but actually that too fast straight legs can freeze your body and keep it from stretching the whole class long. So instead, I want to take this into the back body healthfully so that you can stretch out effectively and maintain that increase in flexibility throughout your entire yoga practice and classes. And to do that, you don't want to start with straight legs. So you want to definitely be really warm before you start trying to even think about stretching your legs straight. So instead, as you're warming up until you're sweaty or pretty heated in the body, bend your knees and I just want you to play the edge of your stretch. So fascia, the connective tissue that covers each muscle, needs certain things to be able to open up and lengthen. One is heat, the other one really helps if you resist while you're stretching. So today I'm gonna to show you a couple of my favorite moves to get that back body open fast and safely. All right, so in your standing forward bed, we're going to stimulate the tendons or receptors at the end of your muscles here to be able to trigger your brain to relax your leg muscles and back body more fully. We do that by providing a lot of resistance while you're stretching out. So bend your knees, feet together, bend your knees here, reach down and roll over your thighs. So I want your chest on the legs. Then wrap your arms or arms fully around if you can. So maybe you're just hanging on, but maybe you can get the elbows or forearms. And here you're going to begin to try to straighten the legs, but really hug your legs with your arms strongly. So this is a very strong pose. Keep breathing, but really resist the legs so they don't get to straighten, but they want to. So we'll be here for about 30 seconds together, maybe five or six slow deep breaths. So begin through the nose as you try to straighten the legs and hug in and exhale one. Inhale here. Try to straighten the legs a little bit more, but hug, keep them bent. Exhale two. Inhale to the belly. Great time for detoxification as well. And three. Inhale, keep pressing, keep squeezing. So you want to get yourself really working here. Good. Another breath. Inhale and exhale it out. Work yourself. Press the heels down. Lift the inner thighs up and hug. One more deep inhale here and exhale it out. Good. Release the hands. Take a deep breath in. Lift the belly here. And on your exhale with a long spine, just begin to fold. So you want to feel this stretch at the core of your muscles or the belly of the muscles. So in the hamstrings, not the knees, that's the end, or the sit bone, that's the other end, but here in the center of the hamstrings. So take a deep breath in and exhale. Just play that edge of stretch, and you may notice it opens more. You can repeat that two or three times for optimal stretch. All right, next move. We'll come down slowly to sit. And remember, all this works best if you're warmed up. So make sure that you do your sun salutations and your yoga practice, but add these tools. Now bend your knees here, so we don't want to jam on straight legs even at the end of class. Always begin with a little bit of a bend. And you can inhale, arch the back, use the muscles you're about to stretch, and exhale, fold a little deeper. So another thing your muscles like is resist and release techniques. So inhale, this time take the hands up off the earth. So you're arching the back, using your whole back body, and then folding it forward. Inhale. Hold. So you really want to contract and exhale, fold. Now lift the belly, get a long spine, and wave yourself from side to side. Let's do the same thing with the legs. Press your heels down into the ground. You could even hang on behind the legs and try to press the legs straight while you pull up with the hands and resist away. So heels down. Knees are trying to straighten, but hands won't let you. So feel that really really powerfully in the back of your legs. Take a deep breath in, press, 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 and exhale, straighten the legs a little bit more. Again, you wanna feel it right at the center of the muscle. Inhale, press the heels, press those knees down, resist upward with those strong arms. Good, hold that for about three or four breaths now. Keep resisting, resisting, and exhale, go a little bit straighter. 
If you notice, when the legs straighten, the pelvis tips backward and you're pressing out the sacrum, that's no good. So keep that bend, nice, long sacrum and low back, long spine, and just play that edge there. Let's resist one more time before we release. So press the legs towards straight, but lift up with the hands. Press the heels down, heels down, heels down. Good. Take one more deep breath here. And exhale. Stretch the legs to your capacity. Take a deep breath in. Wave the spine long and begin to fold. And you may wave from side to side. So fascia likes this kind of liquid movement. Inhale here. And exhale fold. Good. And you can, again, repeat that position two or three times for optimal effect. So again, when you're stretching, not just the muscles, but the fascia covering them, you want to get that fascia really warm, stretch in the middle of the muscle, resist while you're stretching, and or do resist and then release of the muscles that you want to stretch, all while very warm. And this is going to serve you so well in your practice and help you avoid those straining joint injuries that we can get so easily when we try to go too far too fast. So back off to go deeper. Namaste.